Hello. So here is a website about using Mayer's 12 Principles of Multimedia. And I'm going to link you to that website as well as kind of go through this with you. So Richard Mayer, who is a professor, developed this theory of 12 basic principles of multimedia. And by multimedia, we mean voice, right? That's one media. Um, and then visuals, and then of course print. So it's multi, more than one media. The big, big takeaway is please cut all the extras. So here's an example of if I am talking to you, right? I'm talking to you. I don't also need to have a bunch of text here and then other things that I might click on. I just need to have this image, right? So that's number one, is to cut out the extras. Now, it may be that you want a little bit of text here, maybe one or two bullet points. Don't overdo the bullet points, but that's number one. It's called the coherence principle. And it means that humans learn best when extraneous distracting material is removed. So do not put too much writing on your presentation slides all right the other thing is to when you're talking bring up what it is that you are talking about on the screen and you can even highlight what you want the people to be listening to your your audience to be listening to so what we see on the screen and again remember this is a virtual presentation should be what you are talking about. And they recommend that you highlight important words and use arrows to point out significant information. Redundancy. So this is interesting. Humans learn best with narration, which is what I'm doing now, and graphics, as opposed to all three of these. No, do not put this text here. If I'm talking, right, and I've got some meaningful graphics, I don't also need a bunch of text down here. Now, this is one sentence, and it becomes distracting. You know why? Because your audience is trying to read this while listening to you. So that's called the redundancy principle. You're better off with a meaningful image and talking than all three of them. And you might think, oh, well, I need all three. And if you need any text, just make it short. Um, all right, this has to do with how you lay things out on the page. Keep all related text and graphics close together. Don't like put it you know, you're saying this is an optimal condition and it should be near, if you're gonna have some text, it should be near the, the image. Here, it has to do with the visuals and audios match up correctly. Segmenting, segmenting don't worry about this, but basically it has to do with, no one can pay attention for more than five minutes nowadays. So instead of doing a big, long 20 minute presentation, you're better off as having maybe three, pre three shorter pre pre presentations, excuse me. And we won't get into that. Um, in voiceover, you're gonna have voiceover because you're gonna be narrating it. Limit, please limit, limit the text rely on visuals so i'm going to be looking at your virtual presentations to see have you done this have you made an effort not to put a bunch of text on the screen all right because the voiceover is what's important so here is huge right here number nine humans learn best from words and pictures like this than just words alone you do need images on your slide, maybe one image, powerful image to get your listeners and your viewers attention. And see how minimal this text is because you are narrating, your voice is powerful. 
Uh, personalization. So like here, I'm talking in a very informal way, right, to you. Conversational. Don't be overly formal, okay? And you see how much less text there is here as opposed to here? Please, please do not put a bunch of text on the screen. Do not do it. Um, you can be a little informal, but you should have a script. And don't put in a, you're not going to put in a computer voice. You're going to do your own voice. And this is about talking heads videos. I don't know. I've heard pro and con about this, that if you have a little video of yourself up here talking while you narrate your presentation, that actually can be helpful. Um, you know, and it says here that they're still studying that. So anyway, please do be careful to do this and not this. See how much, see the image is bigger here. Here the text is mostly here and the image is little. Reverse it. Reverse it. All right. And uh, so these are Mayer's uh, 12 Principles of Multimedia, which ties into our virtual presentation.